Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've got some mail, model related mail that is, and uh, I get regular sort of mail demanding money and stuff like that every day, but um, this is the pleasant kind. So, without uh, further ado, let's open this one first. We've got two items. Um, aha! Well, I've been waiting for this. Um, this is some MIG rigging, and this is the super fine rigging 0.01 uh, meters, and um, it's for 172nd and 148th scale models. I got this specifically for the Iron Decker 2, which is a tiny, tiny um, World War One plane in 172nd scale. There's a bit of rigging on it, and uh, the stuff I had lying around, I was going to use regular cotton first, and, and it was just it just looked too big, too thick, uh, out of scale. So this is what I've got for that, and um, let's get it on a little cardboard spool there. Um, and, uh, and I guess there's quite a bit there, really. Uh, licensed by Ushki. Ushki van der Roster. U Ushki van der Roster. Oh, anyway, anyway, rigging. Um, you may have noticed uh, there's not been many videos coming out. There's a few reasons for that. Uh, I'm having, I have had a copyright dispute over the title music. Uh, it now seems that what was free for me to use, as long as I listed my uh, listed the author and that, is no longer free to use, and they started monetizing my videos for them. So um, you may have seen a couple of videos kept coming off and then coming back on. Um, this was me trying to get around there uh, to put it the way they wanted it. I was, you know, putting details on extra details so that it fell in line with what I felt they were they wanted from me. Um, but uh, honestly, it just looks like they don't really care uh, what I wanted, and just as long as they they're just going to copyright strike me, whatever. So. Um, I've got to start the process now of going through all the back videos, pulling them down and putting on some music that uh, is uh, free for me um, and that I can monetize if I want to. So um, that has uh, sort of put a temporary halt on me putting any more up because the ones I had in the can, so to speak, to... Um, line up that we're going to get put on every few days they've all got the uh, old music on it's a shame uh, I did like the track um, uh, I've had to spend a long time searching for anything that even remotely sounds like I want it to um, and I think I've found one that I'm happy with uh, but uh, I should play it by ear uh, if anyone you know doesn't like it, does like it, let me know in the comments, and um, we'll go from there. Added to that, I've also uh, recently sort of started uh, plans to move my build station to another area of the room. This is so that I can eventually get an extractor fan installed and start using the hot paints and and stuff like that. Um, I have got some MRPs, but I haven't got the extractor paint yet, the extractor fan unit yet. So um, there's obviously going to be a period of time where I'm moving all that up to that end of the room by the window. There'll be some more natural light for me, so uh, much better in that respect. Um, I'm also upgrading my airbrush and uni unifying my paint selection. Uh, I currently have a, a small range of paints. Um, I've got Vallejo, MRP, Tamiya, Revel, Humbrol, and I've got small amounts of each one, so not a huge collection. Um, 
I want to. I'm keeping the Tamias and I'm keeping the Revels, but the Humbrols, acrylics, the Humbro enamels, all the Vallejos, the AK Interactive. I'm selling all them, and then I'm going to be buying Mr. Hobby Acuous paints, um, and I'll be purely using those. Those will be my go-to paints. So. Um, Many of my paints are packed up, ready for uh, selling for when they sell. I'm also selling my Harder and Steenbeck Evolution CR Plus Two, and I'm going to be upgrading to an Iwata C an Iwata HPC Plus. Um, which I think is the right way for me to go now. Uh, I think I'm I'm out of my uh, sort of training wheels stage, and uh, on to uh, much better things. Um, I, I think it's time that I upgraded that brush. So that's currently wrapped up. There'll be a period of time where I haven't got a, an airbrush. So um, there's not going to be no building for a little while. And um, so I just thought I'd get you up to date on that. We've got one final package which is this one nearly flashed it the wrong way around there and I believe this is a competition that was run by International Scale Modeler on their Friday show and uh, I won it But it's all male nonetheless. Whether I paid for it or won it, it's better when you've won it. At least this one turned up. Oh, there we go, come on out. And there we go. A Spitfire Mark 9C early edition. Now I've seen lots of late editions about, but not many early editions. So I'll be doing a review on this very soon. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and watch that. Uh, and I think that's about all I can say for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope, hope the information's been helpful. And I look forward to talking with you all soon. Bye for now.